Yo, what is up everybody, it's Sarah. And we are about to drop into SRI Lanka. We're talking pristine beaches, we're talking lush jungles, ancient ruins. This place has got it all. This isn't just another travel video though. We're going deep, we're getting real, and we're doing it interactively. That's right, I'm talking to you, beautiful people. Throughout this journey, I'm gonna be hitting you with questions, polls, the whole nine yards. So get those thumbs ready because we're about to embark on an epic adventure together. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, first up, we're kicking things off at Sigiriya, also known as Lion Rock. This iconic landmark is one of Sri Lanka's most famous historical sites and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Just picture this, a massive rock formation jutting out of the jungle, almost like a scene straight out of Jurassic Park. It's not just any rock, it's a colossal monolith that stands nearly 200 meters tall. But instead of dinosaurs, this place was once home to a king back in the 5th century. King Kaziapa chose this formidable rock to build his fortress and palace, creating an architectural marvel that has stood the test of time. I mean, can you imagine? This dude built his entire palace on top of this rock. The engineering and effort that went into constructing this palace are mind-blowing. Talk about a room with a view. From the summit, you can see miles of lush green jungle stretching out in every direction. Seriously, look at these steps. They're insane. Carved into the rock itself, these ancient steps are a testament to the ingenuity of the builders. It's a straight-up climb, hundreds of feet to the top. Imagine the determination and strength it took to ascend these steps back in the day. But trust me, the view from up there is worth every bead of sweat. The panoramic vistas are simply breathtaking, offering a glimpse into the natural beauty of Sri Lanka. So, here's my question for you. What do you think made King Kasyapa choose this crazy location for his palace? Was it for defense, the view, or something else entirely? Drop your theories in the comments. Let's see what you got. Your insights might just uncover new perspectives on this ancient wonder. Next stop, we're ditching the ancient ruins and diving headfirst into the wild side of Sri Lanka Yala National Park. This place is like walking onto the set of National Geographic. We're talking elephants roaming free, leopards chilling in trees, crocodiles lurking in the water. It's wild, man. I'm talking jeeps kicking up dust, the sun beating down, and the thrill of spotting a leopard through the tall grass. It's not just about the big cats, though. Yala is teeming with life, from colorful birds to mischievous monkeys. It's a nature lover's paradise. So I gotta ask, would you brave the wilds of Yala National Park for a chance to see these incredible creatures up close? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, get ready to have your minds blown because we're about to enter a place of immense historical and religious significance, the Temple of the Tooth in Kandy. This isn't just any temple, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for good reason. The temple is nestled in the heart of Kandy, a city that itself is a blend of rich history and vibrant culture. This place is like the Fort Knox of Sri Lanka, but instead of gold, it houses a relic that's even more precious, a tooth said to belong to the Buddha himself. Imagine the reverence and the awe that surrounds this sacred artifact. It's not just a tooth, it's a symbol of faith, peace, and the teachings of Buddhism. I'm talking intricate carvings, golden roofs, and an atmosphere of reverence that you can feel the second you step foot on the grounds. The architecture here is a marvel in itself, with every detail meticulously crafted to reflect the spiritual significance of the place. Pilgrims from all over the world travel here to pay their respects, and the energy is palpable. You can see people from different walks of life, all united by their devotion and respect for the Buddha's teachings. It's a melting pot of cultures and beliefs, all converging in this sacred space. Now, for a little brain teaser, what do you think is the most surprising thing about the Temple of the Tooth? Is it the relic itself, the stunning architecture, or perhaps the stories and legends that surround it? Think you know the answer? Drop it in the comments and let's see if you're right. And while you're at it, Share your thoughts on what makes this place so special to you. Whether it's the history, the spirituality, or the sheer beauty, we want to hear from you. From ancient temples to colonial history, Sri Lanka's got it all. We're now strolling through the charming streets of Gali Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's like stepping back in time. This place has seen it all, from Portuguese and Dutch colonizers to the devastating tsunami of 2004. But through it all, Gala Fort has retained its unique character, with its cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, and stunning ocean views. 
I'm talking about hidden cafes tucked away in narrow alleys, street vendors selling delicious snacks, and the sound of waves crashing against the ancient ramparts. What part of Galafort's history do you find most intriguing? Let me know in the comments. Hold on tight because we're about to climb aboard one of Sri Lanka's most iconic modes of transport, the train. And trust me, this is no ordinary train ride. We're talking breathtaking views of rolling hills carpeted in emerald green tea plantations, misty mountains, and cascading waterfalls. Our destination, the charming town of Ella, a hiker's paradise and a haven for tea lovers. I'm talking about waking up to the sound of birdsong, sipping on a freshly brewed cup of Ceylon tea, and setting off on an adventure through lush forests and tea estates. If you were to spend a day in Ella, how would you immerse yourself in its natural beauty and vibrant culture? Share your ideal day in the comments below. All right, guys, it's time to trade those hiking boots for flip-flops and dive headfirst into paradise. We're talking about Marissa, a beach town on Sri Lanka's southern coast that's straight out of a postcard. I'm talking palm-fringed beaches, crystal-clear turquoise waters, and a laid-back vibe that'll make you want to stay forever. But Marissa isn't just about soaking up the sun. It's also one of the best places in the world to spot majestic whale sharks. Imagine yourself on a boat, the sun on your face, the wind in your hair, and then, out of the blue, a gentle giant emerges from the depths. What are your thoughts on encountering these incredible creatures in their natural habitat? Let's discuss in the comments. Hold on to your hats, because we're about to take a trip back in time. To British colonial times, that is. Imagine a place where the charm of old England meets the lush landscapes of Sri Lanka. Welcome to Nuwara Elia, a town nestled in the heart of Sri Lanka's tea country, often called Little England for its colonial architecture, cool climate, and you guessed it, tea. This town is a perfect blend of British elegance and Sri Lankan beauty. I'm talking about strolling through manicured gardens where every flower seems to be in perfect bloom, sipping tea in elegant tea rooms that transport you back to a bygone era, and feeling like you've stepped onto the set of a period drama. The ambience here is truly something out of a storybook. But Nuara Elia isn't just about the past. It's a vibrant town that offers a mix of old-world charm and modern-day adventures. It's also a great base for exploring the surrounding hills, waterfalls, and tea plantations. Imagine hiking through misty hills, discovering hidden waterfalls, and walking through endless rows of tea bushes. Would you take a scenic train ride through the tea country, where every turn offers a new, breathtaking view, or go whitewater rafting down the rapids, feeling the rush of adrenaline as you navigate the wild waters? Let me know your pick in the comments. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or an adventure seeker, Nuara Alia has something special for everyone. Get those taste buds ready, because we're about to embark on a culinary journey to Jaffna, a city in northern Sri Lanka that's bursting with flavor. Jaffna is known for its unique Tamil culture and cuisine, which is a delicious blend of spices, seafood, and tropical fruits. I'm talking about aromatic curries, fresh seafood caught that day, and sweet treats that will satisfy your cravings. From spicy crab curry to melt-in-your-mouth dosas, Jaffna's food scene is a feast for the senses. If you could only try one dish from Jaffna's diverse cuisine, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. Fasten your seatbelts, history buffs, because we're about to travel back in time to the ancient city of Anuradhapura, one of Sri Lanka's most important archaeological sites. This place is like an open-air museum, with towering stupas, ancient monasteries, and crumbling ruins that whisper tales of a glorious past. I'm talking about wandering through ancient temples, marveling at intricate carvings, and feeling a sense of awe at the ingenuity of the people who built this city centuries ago. Anuradhapura is a place where you can truly immerse yourself in Sri Lanka's rich history and culture. So, when would be the perfect time for you to visit Anuradhapura and soak up its historical significance? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We've explored ancient ruins we've ventured into the wild, We've tasted incredible food, and now it's time to experience the vibrant energy of Colombo, Sri Lanka's bustling capital city. Colombo is a city of contrasts, where colonial architecture meets modern skyscrapers. Bustling markets meet trendy cafes and ancient temples meet vibrant nightlife. 
I'm talking about exploring bustling markets, haggling for souvenirs, and indulging in delicious street food. From the historic Peta district to the trendy cafes of Cinnamon Gardens, Colombo has something for everyone. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, how would you rank Colombo among the other incredible destinations we've explored in Sri Lanka? Let me know in the comments. That's a wrap, everyone. We've journeyed from the ancient ruins of Sigiriya to the bustling streets of Colombo, experiencing the beauty, culture, and adventure that Sri Lanka has to offer. I hope this interactive journey has inspired you to add Sri Lanka to your travel bucket list. So, tell me in the comments, which of these incredible destinations would you visit first? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more epic adventures around the world.